So right here is another 8.30 a.m. workout. I'm quite enjoying training fasted and nice and early. As long as I have a big meal the night before and a good night's sleep, I really enjoy these workouts. However, if I don't really have much sleep the night before and I don't have that big of a meal before I go to bed, I usually wake up quite hungry and I'm not usually as ready as I would be. However, recently I've just been having a great night's sleep and I've always been ready for my workouts. So as you can see, I'm having a great ass workout. Start off at 30 kg on the bent over dumbbell row. Now as you saw in the first exercise, I was parallel or below parallel. And then my second exercise, I was aiming my back up a bit higher. This is pretty much on whenever I'm aiming really low, as you saw in the first exercise, that's the hip, mostly the middle portion of my back and get a well-developed balance back. And then whenever I stand up and elevate myself that bit more, it focuses more on the upper back, which is a big part that I want to bring up. So that's why I'm aiming so high. So those were my first two exercises and this was the final exercise that I finished off with for back. I did five drop sets at this machine row. Now this angle that I'm at kind of makes it look like I'm hardly getting any range of motion but I got such an amazing pump doing this exercise. I, for for the longest I can remember, I've been finishing off of this exercise in back because it's so easy to get such a good pump and you feel it in every single muscle in my back. I feel it in my traps, my lats, my rhomboids, my biceps, my forearms, everything. So as you already know, I always finish off my back day with biceps and forearms. You know, for me personally, I really want to bring up my arms this off season, and they've been coming up well. Every single thing's been coming up well, but I've just been giving my arms that much more of a focus. As you can see, I'm started off with some seated dumbbell curls. Now, I don't do that much volume on my back day for biceps because I'm already so fatigued, but I still do do a bit, decent bit. So then I supersetted seated dumbbell curls with seated hammer curls. All I do is twist the weight. Look at them calves! <laughs> I used to have fucking tiny calves. Now they're fucking growing like fuck. So that was my final set there. And then I did a drop set and went into 10 kilogram dumbbells right here. And just really burned out the biceps. Every single exercise that I finish a muscle group off with, I like to push it to complete failure. To let myself know that I've pushed the most that I possibly can out of that muscle. So after doing biceps, I went on the forearms. Now, I didn't record it, but if you want to see my full back, bicep, and forearm workout, let me know below. But as you already know, I do high volume, high intensity, train to failure, and just go fucking crazy in the gym. This workout took two hours, and then enjoy the rest of the video, guys. This is another day in the life of a team bodybuilder. Stay tuned. So that's back just finished. Absolutely fucking killed it. I'm gonna go home and have an epic ass meal. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Holy fuck, I started off that workout so bad. I whenever the first exercise I did was a wide grip pull-up, superset with an underhand pull down. And then whenever I was just chilling out, I grabbed the tricep push down and I was just sort of messing around with it. And it fucking spun like it flicked off my hands, it just whacked me in the nose, my eyes were just watering. Some guy was looking at me like, what the fuck is he crying for? But you gotta act cool in those situations. You know, if you get if you get hit in the gym and you get hurt, you have to act like nothing happened because the spotlight's on you. You fucking know that. Everybody knows that. If you hurt yourself in the gym, if you hit your knee off a machine, if you drop something on your toe, you gotta keep it cool and smooth because you're on the fucking spotlight, baby. Let's go. Boom. So this is my post-workout meal. I finished working out at about uh, half eleven, I believe. 11 o'clock I finished, so it's been two hours since then, so I'm extremely hungry, and this is what I'm having to eat right now. Boom, right here, I've got four whole fried eggs, a full tin of beans, got some white potatoes with that. Then here I've got a big ass salad, got some lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, and cucumber. Then right here I've got four slices of whole wheat bread, got peanut butter on each of those. So a very high calorie meal and you know with this high volume With this high volume, it's so like my hunger is going up so much You can't train like a fucking beast and eat like a bitch I'm eating big and I'm training fucking hard So I'm going to eat this and it's time to edit and upload some videos. Stay tuned guys So right now it's 7 p.m. 
I'm going to be having this here and then I'm going to start cooking up my final meal. I've pretty much just been doing stuff that's needed done around the house and then I've kind of been like super setting it with doing YouTube stuff. So whenever I have something processing to get ready for being uploaded while something else is being uploaded, I'm away doing other stuff that needs to get done. So to have a wee, I forgot, I didn't even, I couldn't even have told you what time it was until now. So I thought it's time to get in my final meal. So I'm going to be having this fruit salad, which is usually what I have post-workout. I don't even really feel like it right now. Whereas usually whenever I wake up, I do a lot of things. I usually eat around 12, wait a few hours, hit the gym. And then whenever I'm coming back home around 7, post-workout, like I'm dying for something like this. Whereas now I don't really feel like it. So I think that's going to be quite useful whenever I'm cutting. But however, I'm still going to be eating this right now. I've got a full kiwi in here, a full red grapefruit, and a full orange. And it's going to taste delicious as fuck. That's good. That's good eating. Got to get in your fruit and fiber. Micronutrient fiber. Fruit and veg. What I'm having right here. This is a full chicken breast. I've got some white rice as well with that. So as you can see right there, that's all that I'm having right now. So high protein, high carb meal. And I'll be probably having something else after it. So stay tuned, guys. This is what I'm finishing the day off with. i got a big ass bowl of granola here. I've got some rice milk in it as well. The bowl is so fucking big. It makes it look like there's nothing left. But the other bowls are too fucking small. I couldn't have fit anything into them of this so i'm gonna be eating this right now guys make sure you like comment share subscribe boom